Hello. Um, good evening to everybody. Welcome. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Yes, I hear Good evening, you. teacher. Okay, good evening, very good. everyone. Good evening, good evening. Good evening. Well, we're going to start at eight o'clock. I have to look uh, just my, my headphones, uh, my headset, sorry. And I'll be back in a moment, okay? Okay, yeah. Good evening. Good evening. This is Patricia. Hi. I have a problem. What's wrong? <laughs> Es el audio del 5.9, creo que es el último. No, no entiendo por qué no logro escucharlo. Ya traté de descargarlo incluso. Dice que es el I o eh, D de, de seguido de la vocal. Voy a entrar a la plataforma. Ya es el examen final, ¿verdad? No. No, es el último ejercicio, creo. Okay, uh, welcome back. So, uh, good evening to, to the ones that um, already just joined this, in, in this video conference. Um, uh, we're going to start with uh, the video conference that correspond for tonight, this, this Tuesday. And um, as you know, we're going to be continuing with discussing about, uh, a little bit about the um, present perfect, okay? Um, Mr. Saldaña, I, I hear that you had some problems with with an audio. Um, that's right. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, tell me what uh, audio in, in what section and also what exercise uh, can I find that that audio. 5.9. Oh, okay. At 5.9, it's not a mouth. That is a nowhere check. Oh, in, in you mean, sir, uh, 5.9. Uh, como dice 
este, Miss Miss Herrera, Miss, Miss Herrera, sí, eh, esa solamente es un knowledge check. Aquí usted lo que tiene que hacer es simplemente eh, completar las oraciones que se muestran eh, con el uso del, del eh, presente perfecto según corresponde. Sí. Ok. Bien, eh, no sé si ese es el audio que, al que usted hacía referencia, si ese es el ejercicio al que usted hacía referencia o, o era otro. Ya, yes, teacher, ese es. El tema es que no logro escuchar el audio. Oh, audio. Aquí no, aquí no este, va a escuchar audio, don, don Jimmy. Voy a compartirle una pantalla en el grupo de WhatsApp. Vaya. Sí. Eh, ese audio es el que no logro reproducir. Vaya. Veamos, veamos la captura de pantalla. A ver. Ahorita. Oh, comprendo. Este, entonces no es en el 5.9. Bien. No es el 5.9, este, sino que usted está hablando ya del, del examen este, final. La sección donde dice final exam. Sí. Y está en la parte sí. del listen. Dice, escuche. Ajá. Ajá, está en la parte del listen. Ok, eh, la sección A. Eh, donde dice, listen to, to the conversation, click the correct information. Veamos qué sucede con este audio. Let me watch. Sí, el, el audio sí está funcionando, don Jimmy. Eh, permítame compartirle mi pantalla. Vamos a ver. Vamos a compartir. Y este se lo voy a reproducir para que usted lo escuche y pueda resolver ese ejercicio. Ok, teacher. Okay. ok, so pay attention to it. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct information. One. Excuse me. I'm looking for someone. I'm meeting her for lunch here. Her name is Emily Black. All right. What does she look like? Let's see. She's about 25, I guess. Look over there. Is she the one with the long black hair? Uh, no, that's not her. Emily's fairly short and has... I think I see her. Look, she's waving at you. Two. Sarah, did you hear that Judy has a new boyfriend? No, I didn't. What's he like? Well, his name's Steve, and he's very nice. And he's tall, really tall. He's over six feet tall. What color is his hair? His hair is blonde and curly. He sounds very handsome. He is, and he's the same age as Judy. So he's only 19? Yes, that's right. Three. All right, Mr. Brown. Tell me again what happened here. Thank you, officer. I told you, the man took my wife's purse from the back of her chair. We were at this table. What did the thief look like? I told you, he was elderly. He was maybe in his 70s. And about how tall was he? You mean, how short was he? He was short. Only about five feet tall. What else do you remember? Well, he had on baggy pants and a red t-shirt. He also had a white beard. Four. <coughs> Hi, I'm new here. My name's Sharon. I'm Charlie. Welcome to our school party. Do you want something to eat? Not right now, thanks. Actually, I'm looking for AJ and Penny. I need their phone number. 
Which ones are they? They're that good-looking couple sitting on the couch. Oh, I see them. Thanks. And one more thing. Is Clara here? I need to ask her a question about her homework for tomorrow. Let me see. Oh, yes, I see her. She's wearing jeans and a red sweater. She's standing over there talking to Tom. Okay, that's, um, that's the audio for the sections for listening. Um, if you want, sir, uh, also I can share yes, this too. link to you. Uh, there you can listen it. Um, what you can do is reproduce it using uh, Drive um, and try to do it um, using, using that app if you want, because um, sometimes when we have like the audio like N4A um, or or MP3 player doesn't reproduce that those audios sometimes, okay? Or you can use a VLC, that, that's a, a, a MP3 player, okay? You can use it uh, if you want in order to be listening those audios. Uh, I, I have a question for you. Can you listen to me? Can you hear me? Because um, it's raining here, I don't know if, if you can listen. Yes, teacher. I can hear you. Ah, okay. Very good. Excellent. I'm seeing that some of you had some problems trying to join a, the video conference. I'm just give me a second. Uh, Let me see. Can someone please uh, share the share the link uh, to join uh, this video conference? Please, uh, it's the link that um, you receive in, in the email. I will try to do it. No worry, I will try to do it. I will start my, my sharing my screen. Okay, thank you, uh, Miss. Lorena. Okay, thank you. Thank you, very good. So, um, I, I, I'm going to I'm going to share my screen in order to uh, be discussing about the present perfect, the topic that we're uh, reviewing um, yesterday that was in section number four. Um, we're discussing about the use of the uh, present perfect uh, with questions, okay? And the uses of it. But um, I remember that I asked you uh, to create one sentence per each use. Um, <clears throat> but also, when we create uh, just three sentences, there is another use that I want to show you. What is this? Uh, this is, this is the, the, the video. Okay, I want to show you the last slide. Hi, in this lesson, we will study present perfect. Just the last ready. slide. Plus, um, let me show you this. Okay, um, as you see, this is the last use of uh, present perfect. And it says that we use present perfect when uh, timing is not relevant or it is unknown, okay? Uh, the example that we have here, it says someone has eaten myself. Someone has eaten myself. We don't know the time. We don't know the specific time. Or um, just maybe we don't want to say uh, the time because it's irrelevant, okay? Um, sometimes you can use also these examples uh, or these kind of sentences when you don't know, you don't know the, the time. Or, or where that actions uh, happens, okay?
Well, we're going to finish um, to watching this. Someone has this um, this video, and we're going to go to the next session. Okay? Eating my soup. Now let's talk about already and yet. Already usually goes after have or has and before the main verb. Okay. And this this part we already uh, watched. It. I need you to explain just this. Um, when we use already in jet, do you know the meanings of already in jet? Jet main casi teacher. Todavía. Todavía, okay. perdón. Okay. Let's see. Already is ya. Already, no. The, the word is already. Okay. I'm listening. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, teacher. Yes, teacher. Already, I, I, mm -hmm. I think it's like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, okay. like yeah, como ahorita, ya está listo. Okay. Um, in the case of already, uh, we usually use it um, after have or has. has. In, in this case, um, this case, because it's an adverb, we are going to use it between, between the, the, the auxiliary verb and, and the main verb. Okay, the, the, in this case, it's going to be the past participle of the verb that we are going to use. Um, we also have yet, okay? But let's see these examples in, in, this, uh, in this sentence. We have already had a breakfast, okay? We're letting know, letting know to the other person that something um, or, or the, the time or the, the, the action uh, is happening in that moment, okay? The time that we are referring is in this case to the present, the present right now. It, we use it in that way when we want to refer to some things. And um, if we are going to add this kind of adverb um, in this type of sentence, they are going to be, as I said before, between the auxiliary verb and the main verb. The, the main verb is going to stay the same. That means that we are going to keep it in um, in past participle, it doesn't change. Then uh, we have the other examples that it says, when are, when are you going to do your homework? But I have already done it, okay? But I have already done it. If we know it's there, uh, we are answering to a specific question using the past, uh, <clears throat> sorry, the present perfect. <clears throat> Let's go to talk about jet. In the case of jet, um, is usually um, used at the end of the sentences or at the end of questions. A jet means that something um, that we expect has happened or hasn't happened. And is regularly used or uh, we put it sometimes at the end of the sentence. Um, in the case of the questions, um, this is going to be uh, at the end, but before um, the question mark, okay? And in the case of the answer, we're going to use it at the end. Um, the examples that we have here, it's uh, the number one, it says, has the pause arrived yet, okay? And the, the meaning of yet, I would like to know if you uh, know it. If not, uh, we can, uh, well, well, I can tell you. Do you know the meaning of yet? What does it mean? 
aún o todavía, creo que es. Todavía, exactly. teacher. Okay, exactly, yes, exactly. So, in these type of uh, uh, sentences, uh, the jet is an adverb, but this type of, this type of adverb, uh, we are going to use this at the end of the sentence. Um, and what happened here? What is modifying this? Um, this uh, this type neighbor. The question has the past all right yet? Okay. Um, the the answer that we are going to have must be usually on a uh, using person perfect. For short answer. Um, they are commonly used in negative uh, negative uh, answers, like no jets, okay? No jets. We usually put it at the end of a sentence. Okay, so. I want to share uh, the white word here, and we are going to try something. Um, give me a second. Okay, we want to try to do something, uh, but I don't know if, if it is possible uh, in all the devices that you have. Um, you are a uh, seeing a whiteboard, right? Yes, I yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Try to try to uh, write a sentence there in the whiteboard uh, using your devices. You can use like like uh, the draw <clears throat> the draw line, the ones that we have the, there. I see that Jacqueline can write there. Okay. Adriana too. Try to write a, a sentence using already or yet. Just one sentence. Okay. It can be in simple present. Sorry? Can be in simple present or no. is no. use we are going to use it with present perfect. Ah, okay, with present perfect, okay. Yes, already using present perfect and yet using present perfect. Okay. Ms. Herrera, can you write on the on the whiteboard? I am writing in chat. In the chat, you are not using the whiteboard. I can't. You can't. Uh, yeah. Teacher, how? How can you? I can the, find the. Uh, I can find the the the, the pencil of the or the, the panel. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, are you using uh, smartphones? Are you using a smartphone? No, uh, you're no, using the, your computer. Uh, the computer. Yeah. Okay. So um, in, in the top of the, of the, of the whiteboard, you have la, the panel that it says select, text, draw, stamp, spotlight, erase. You must select uh, the option that it says draw. Just keep it, uh, the just click on it. You can see the options, why? Uh, I let don't know, me, teacher, but... Let me see why. Yes. 
Okay. Request, uh, this is Zoom radio, request remote control. Yeah, the same option. Request remote control. Oh, oh my God. <gasps> yeah. Request remote control. Yeah. Okay. Request remote control. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. 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 Miss Patricia, I'm seeing that you are writing. Ah, I'm seeing that you are writing. Try to do it. Yes, I find okay. it. Okay. You okay, you find it too. It says, Have you ever seen Batman movie? That's your your let me see. This me. This for me. No. Oh, Laura, Laura, Laura. Yeah. Oh, Patricia, you are. You're using okay. I, I got it. I got it. I got it. Teacher, sorry for it's my like... big letter. You can use text, you can use draw, you can use stuff. I'm just a uh, trying to do uh, this, this small TV because we are going to use it later. Ah. We're going to use it later. So for that reason, I would like to know if you can write or not. Teacher, como para borrar eso tan grande. And you must, you can use clear, but clear my drawing. Erase. <laughs> ya le di eliminar todo y no se borra. No, clear my drawings. Ah, no me sale eso. Uh, do you have to click on Only clear? clear? Eliminar todo lo único que tengo relacionado a borrar. Oh, in the option that it says undo? Mm -mm. No? No, ni yes. Ah, si pude, pude. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, classmate. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh, I was sorry. Just... Don't worry. I was just Para que participen más, teacher. Yes, I, I'm was I was just making a test of it. And uh, I would like, well, the, the thing is I, I wanted to know uh, that it, if you have the possibility to write there because the, uh, the next activity is going to be based on it. Teacher, I forget the comma. The comma. <laughs> uh, have you ever seen Batman movie yet? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to erase er, um, everything I'm seeing that you, well, you write two, one, two, three, just three sentences. It says, have you made dinner? Okay, make, make, Miss, Miss Patricia, make, must be in past participle, remember. Made with D. Made, made, made. And the other, let's see, have you ever seen? Okay, it's okay. Very good. So I'm going to clear all drawings. Well, there we have. Um, this activity. Okay, give me a second. Okay, this activity um, will be a Pictionary. I don't know you, if you know that. Do you know what is a Pictionary? No. No? No, picture. The, the game the game is called Pictionary. Yes, I know that. 
Do you know it? Yeah. Okay, can, you, can you explain us? Can you explain us how we how we are going to play that? Okay. Um, if I'm in my head, uh, dictionary is like when you put on your. Do you say front? Okay. Front. Oh, okay. Front. When you put in put it on your front, uh, some picture, maybe okay. an animal, uh, an object, and a famous person. In the people. Uh, need to explain what's a picture in your front. Okay. Yes. yes. I think that is the thing. Okay. Okay. The, the Pictionary is going to have the following rules. Um, I'm going to send in the chat privately a, a word that one of you is going to draw in this uh, whiteboard and the rest are going to guess using the chat. And uh, this is just for getting uh, um, a little bit of vocabulary, okay? And we are going to try uh, to guess the, the uh, drawing of that person that is drawing, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Okay, okay. Uh, who, who wants to be um, a volunteer in order to draw something. Me, teacher. You. Okay. Um, you are Adriana, right? Check it out. Yes. Check it out, the chat, because you are going to receive a award and you will try to um, draw without the word. Okay? Okay. Please draw wood. Nice. Adriana. We're going to we're going to start with, with easy words, okay? Okay. Let's start. Let's start. You receive it? Yes. Okay. Let's start. The ones, uh, uh, the, the rest, I mean, uh, you can be like writing in the chat, like guessing. Okay. <clears throat> Ese es el infinito. Almost. Hola. ¿Qué puede hacer? Kind of. Money. Money. Mm, kind of. Okay, Miss Herrera almost has the answer, but something is missing. Has a lot of lot of money. A lot of money, <laughs> Miss Herrera. You almost have the answer, but something is missing. Repeat your your word, Patricia. What did you say? <laughs> okay, in English is how how we call that? Ah, dollars. Dollars. Okay, that's the word. Dollars. Dollars. <laughs> 
Because at the beginning you say dollar, okay? But dollar. The, the word is dollars, eh, plural. Okay, that, that, one, that one was a little bit easy. No, we're going to do the following. We're going to have a timer and we're going to set it with, a, 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 let me check. We're going to have a 50 seconds, okay? And try to, try to draw as fast as you can. Any other volunteer? Okay. Who? Who said me? Who said me? Patricia. Oh, okay. Me, Patricia. Patricia. Okay, I'm going to send, I'm going to send the word, Miss Patricia. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Eh, alguien, alguien me puede explicar qué es lo que vamos a hacer hoy incorporando, disculpen. Oh, eh, we're just eh, doing an activity search um, that is called Pictionary. We are um, working on vocabulary and uh, what you have to do is just try to guess the, uh, the drawing that um, in this case, Miss Patricia is going to draw. Okay, just try to guess the word. How you are, how are going to do it? Um, you are going to use the chat box, and there you are going to be sending like the word, or you can use your microphone if you want. Okay, is it clear, sir? Is it clear, sir? Está claro? Teacher. Hola. Please send me some of the... Lo que íbamos a hacer sobre Patricia, sobre el pasado y lo que estuvimos viendo ayer. Vaya, le, le, le explico. Mi Patricia ya le envié, por cierto, la, la, la imagen. Es, perdón, ¿Cómo? la imagen, la, la, la palabra, disculpe. Eh, se lo envié. No, teacher. No, se lo envié en privado en el, en el chat de la videoconferencia, no en el chat de WhatsApp. Ah. Ahí está en privado. Lo siento. Vale, don Jesús, le explicaba. Estamos haciendo una actividad que es de vocabulario. Este, lo que vamos a hacer es tratar de adivinar la palabra este, de acuerdo al dibujo que este Miss Patricia eh, 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 va a dibujar, ¿ok? Ella va a dibujar algo este, y usted va a eh, tratar de adivinar qué es eh, o cuál es la palabra este, que yo le he enviado a, 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 a Patricia, a Miss Patricia. ¿Está clara la indicación ahora, don Jesús? Hola, hola. Sí, sí, ya comprendí. Yo pensaba que estábamos viendo siempre de lo de ayer. Oh, no, ya, este, ya vamos a continuar con eso. Ahorita solamente quería hacer esta dinámica con ustedes, ¿ok? Fine. Gracias. Ok. okay. Solo una participación más y continuamos. Muy bien. Adelante, mis Patricia. Voy a cambiar. Three. It's 
po. <laughs> okay. Abstract. A volume. It's oh, Patricia hike. thinking. Oh? A hike? It's Yo Patricia veo. thinking. Yo no veo el dibujito. No lo ven. Yes, I can see. Este es... Estoy con el teléfono. Um, no right, puede no... la, la pizarra, si mueve la pizarra, tal vez este, puede visualizarlo. Ya, ya, ya lo hallé el dibujito, es un globo. Right. ¿Un globo? <laughs> no. Y time is over. The world war. Yeah. Time is over. Esto es de bien. Miss Herrera, can you say the word? The word was energy. That energy. Is, uh... Okay, the last one. The last participation. Uh, I don't know if someone wants to, to participate as a volunteer for drawing the next word. Me, teacher. Yes. Okay. Miss Peñate. Okay. Oh, bonita dinámica, teacher. Yes, teacher. Hi, sorry. Okay, there you have. Okay. Let me see. Let me see. Um. Do you check okay. the word? In the chat. Let me see. Chat no, andaba buscando en el, en el... En WhatsApp. Estaba buscando en no. otro lado. Yeah. Direct message. Okay. You have it. Okay. Yeah, the I have time it. start now. Mm -hmm. Cell phone. It's radio. Radio. Mm. No. Television. No. Cell phone. Cell phone. Radio. iPhone. It's iPhone. iPhone. No. It's iPhone. not an iPhone. Tablet. No. Similar. Similar. It's kind of similar. iPad. 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 Mm, kind of. No. Similar. Kind of. Computer. No. no computer. No. Laptop. Tablet. Cuisine. No. Smartphone. <laughs> Who say it? Uh, TV. Who say it? Who say it? Fatima. 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 You said Smart what? TV. Smartphone. Smartphone. Yes. Exactly. Mm. That's the word. Smartphone. Very good. <laughs> so that's all for tonight. No. No. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. This well, not you, you, yet, teacher. No yet. <laughs> okay, no, no but we have to continue. We have to continue with with um the next topic. Okay, as you want to do it just for fun, and um and well, you can try this activity. I, I'm seeing that there are some teachers here. You can use this. Let's see. I will, will I stop sharing. Okay, here. I'm going to... after that. Go uh, uh, no, no check. Yes, uh, we're going to have another check. In this case, is the five point word. In this knowledge check, we have uh, the instructions that it sets. Um, complete this conversation. Uh, the ring. It says, complete these conversations, use the present perfect, and use the verse in brackets. 
um, we're going to do this activity. I'm not going to uh, develop it here uh, during the, the using I mean the, my screen, but you are going to do it at um, uh, there. Okay, uh, you're going just to mention what is the correct answer for each sentence here. Okay, that's that's what we're going to do. I'm not going to check it. You're going just to mention it. Is it clear what I'm saying? Is it clear? You are yes, going, you. okay, now for the ones that said no, what I'm saying is that uh, you are going just to mention the answer. I'm not going to check it, okay? I'm not going to, to uh, put a check in the correct answer. You are going just to say what is the answer of that uh, this of that sentence of that exercise, I mean, okay. Number one, tell me the, the number one. And done. The number one is have you done much exercise this have week? Done. Have uh, you have to you have to say it complete it. Have you done much exercise completely? Done. Have, have you? Done. Very good, excellent. Number two. Yes, already. Yes. And aerobics. Okay. Yes, it means aerobics. Oh, okay, very good. Yes, I have been already to a aerobic class four times. There we have a, the class, like, like the letter A, it's missing. Okay, it's missed there. Number three. <clears throat> To play and sport sport this month. Okay, very good. Very good. Number four. No, I have the time. Haven't that had? Oh, okay. no, I haven't had the time. Okay. Number five. No, it's... How many movies have, have you seen this month? How many movies have you seen? How many movies have you seen? Okay, very good. Excellent. Have you seen Number this six. I have okay, excellent. Number seven. Have you been to have any you been? interesting party have you been? Okay, have you been? Number eight. No, I, no, I haven't gone to any party in quite a while. Yeah. Okay, in number nine. Have you called call any friends today? today? And the last one. Yes, I already make. Already make. <laughs> okay, very good. I, I don't know, but I think that some uh, words are missing. Uh, no, it's okay. Well, um, in the next uh, part in 5.5, we have the lesson objective. In the lesson object, it, it says in these sessions, a conversation will be listening to uh, in order to practice the present perfect and simple past. Um, we're going to know um, 
in, in this video, or we can create clauses. In, the, in those clauses, we are going to be using um, the, the present perfect. Um, and also we are going to be uh, joining those uh, sentences with the, um, with the simple past, okay? And, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, give me a second, I'm going to play this video. And uh, we're going Hi, to everyone. be developing an activity at the end uh, of this video. Um, what I ask you to do right now is to pay attention to the audio, okay? Can you hear that? No. Can you, can you listen? No, that? teacher. Everyone, a conversation. Yes, teacher. Yes? No? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes, I don't know if you say no. Okay, I'm going to play it right now. Hi, everyone. A conversation will be listened to in order to practice present perfect and simple past at the same time. Notice how they use both tenses during this conversation. Listen and repeat. Listen and practice. I'm sorry I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I've had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. There. I lived there. Actually, I have. Okay. Um, in these conversations, we have uh, two type of sentences. Uh, we have present perfect, and also we have um, a simple past. Um, as, you, as you see, or as, as we have been uh, discussing previously, uh, with present perfect, we're going to always have uh, like same structure in all sentences that uh, are, are um, about uh, present perfect, okay? In the case of the simple past, um, we're going to use the structure like the subject, okay? The verb in past and the complement for affirmative sentences. Okay, but as we saw in section number three, uh, in the case of the negative sentences, we are not going to use, we are not going to use uh, the verb in past. Why? Do you remember why? Why we don't use the verb in past, the main verb in past? Did, teacher. Because we're using because it. Yes, because we are using did. We're using the auxiliary verb did. That happened in the negative sentence. In the negative sentence, can you tell me what is the structure? We have? Auxiliary plus not, plus not. In, in the case of negative sentences in... in, in plus subject. Okay, we have subject plus plus uh, the verb plus the verb. Complement, plus. Mm -hmm. Let's mm -hmm. review that. In the case of the negative uh, sentences using simple past, we are going to use the subject. Okay, we are going to use the auxiliary verb. We are going to use mm -hmm. the adverb not, and we are going to use the main verb in present, okay? And, and also where we can add a, an object or a complement, okay? So that's going to be- I have a be... question, teacher. Okay. I'm sorry, but I don't understand. You're talking about the, the questions, right? No, negative no. sentences. Ah, uh, perdón, eh, lo siento, no. 
no había escuchado bien. Ok. Um, I was talking about negative sentences um, using simple past. No. Plus subject plus auxiliar, auxiliar perdón. Plus the negative. Plus the negative auxiliar. Uh, plus the verb plus complement. Okay, very good. That's the, that's the structure. Okay, in the case of the uh, interrogative sentences, okay, the questions in this case, uh, what is the structure? Let's review that. The interrogativa. Yes. Uh, sería auxiliar. Au no, no sé cómo decir auxiliar. Okay, auxiliary. Auxiliary. Okay. Plus subject, plus the verb, plus complement, plus inter... ¿Sin ¿Sí interrogativo? Excuse me. Question mark. Question, question mark. Yes, question mark. Okay, that's going to be a, or sentence in simple past. Remember that. So, in this conversation, we find a, those two, a, both structures, like the... A, well, we have... Simple past, and we have a present perfect. Each of each of it has like the different uh, forms of, of how we are going to use it, like in affirmative, negative, and questions. Okay. In, in the conversations that start with Peter, uh, we are going to find the first uh, present uh, perfect sentence. Okay. Have you been here long? What type of a um, form is this? Is it a affirmative, negative, or interrogative? Interrogative. Interrogative, yes. Um, in there, in the rest of it, we're going to find like the affirmatives, the negatives, and uh, it also, um, we are going to find there um, the WH questions uh, using a uh, those structures like simple past and, and present perfect. Uh, as you know, when we use WH uh, questions, we are going to add always the, the WH word at the beginning of the sentence, and then we're going to add the auxiliary and the rest is going to be the same. Um, and that's all. We're going to be uh, working on this, in this section, um, and this is going to be your homework for uh, tomorrow, okay? This knowledge check, it's the 5.9, 5.9. The instruction sets, uh, complete these conversations, use the present perfect and simple past of the verb given. Here we have the verb, Okay, that, that in this case that that is given for a uh, simple pass. And here we are going to find uh, if the structure is it in present perfect or if we're going to write it in simple pass. Uh, that's what we're going to do. There you have the options. It's like a multiple choice exercise. And that's all. We have just 10 sentences to complete. Do you have any question? No, teacher. No, teacher. Everything is clear? Yes. Okay, very good. So, um, as you know, we are uh, almost finishing this course. We have um, just two video conference more. That's mean from Wednesday and Thursday. And we are going to finish this. Uh, this. I, I see, I mean, I saw that you received um, a notification on WhatsApp with the calendar that it says that we are going to finish this coming Thursday. With, you, with the video conference, but I, I don't know if they add 
uh, that you also must finish to the exercise on the platform. If you don't do it, that means that you won't receive your, um, your diploma. So uh, I recommend you, I recommend you to complete it um, during this stage, if you haven't, at least the 80% of it. In that way, you are going to be able to go to the next course that is uh, pre-intermediate three. And also you are going to have your diploma. Uh, another thing that you can do is if you had to complete the 80% of, of, uh, of the exercises, uh, download the download the, 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 the diploma, okay? Because uh, maybe in the future, I don't know if you are going to have access later. So for that reason, I recommend you to download it. Don't leave it uh, just there. Any question? Yes, sir. I finished the platform uh, about uh, one week and I don't have the diploma in the platform. You request it because there is an option that it says that you must request your diploma at the end. He buscado, teacher, y no me aparece esa opción. No, de mm. Usualmente aparece este, al final, cuando ya estamos en el final test. Oh. ¿Usted se va al final test? Y al final le da indicaciones de cómo descargarlo. Pero sería el fin, al terminar lo que es el test. Sí, al terminar el, este, el test, exacto. Bueno, yo lo terminé hace como 10 días. Mm, ok, entonces. Ya lo van a subir cuando ya han terminado el tiempo establecido de ah, la clase. 27. Okay. Ajá. Vaya, según tengo entendido... Según tengo entendido, ustedes este, lo solicitan. No sé, Jacqueline, usted ha estado antes. Este, me, me ayuda, por favor, si es así. Fíjese que el módulo pasado, que fue la primera vez que fue así digital, sí aparecía en, en, el, en el... Donde dice progreso, salía la opción de descargar diploma. Sin embargo, teacher, a mí ahora me aparece, antes de las barritas, como me aparecía antes, que lo daban en físico. Dice progreso del curso para el estudiante, el nombre, el correo, pero está un cuadrito en gris y dice que este modo de tomar el curso no incluye obtención de un certificado y eso me aparecía a mí antes cuando me daban el, el, oh, comprendo. el, el certificado en físico. Y comprendo. el mes pasado que, que salía digital no salía ya eso. Eso creo que es una diferencia que noté. Uh -huh. Vaya. Sí, entonces aquí este, creo que vamos a tener que esperar entonces y ver este, cómo solucionan eso, cómo, cómo lo van a manejar ellos eh, sí. para entregarles sus diplomas. Porque sí. según lo que yo tenía entendido, este, era de esa manera. Terminaban el progreso y lo solicitaban de esa, de esa forma. Sí, salía un link y la opción de descargar el... Uh -huh. el el diploma. Ok, ok. Bien. Entonces, este, Miss Patricia, solamente vamos a, a, a esperar. Ah. Okay. Yo voy a preguntar y les voy a traer una respuesta el día de mañana. Ok, okay sí, sí, sí. Bueno, bueno. Solo pues, una, una consulta, una consulta. Ah, sí, dígame. Perdón. Eh, dígame. En, el, en el WhatsApp han publicado ya eh, la fecha del siguiente curso, pero creo que hay una confusión. Le han puesto 21 de septiembre al inicio. 21 de septiembre. Mm, sí. Extraño. Qué raro. Sí, WhatsApp. Creo que es el 27, ¿no? No, pero, pero tendría no que ser. No de septiembre. No de septiembre, ajá. 
Dice, por este medio enviamos nuevo enlace a la videoconferencia del grupo, cual se, eh, se utilizará a partir. Creo que se fue Después para el mesa. inicio de ah, este de Patricia, Uy. ajá. Patricia shared. Ah, perdón. Sí, sí, ajá. De, bueno, es porque no salimos ah. de la videoconferencia. Ajá. No es el propio. Es el, es el, ajá, sí, sí. El del actual módulo. Ese es el del módulo actual, este, don, don Jimmy. Sí, es que creo que era okay. para compartir el enlace este, donde estaba. Que nos, salió, nos sacó la aplicación y nosotros Ajá. escribimos. Ajá, exacto, sí. Okay. No es este, no es este. No, porque bueno, a mí no. ya, ya me dieron la fecha y la fecha tentativa es el 27 o 25 de octubre. Sí. Yo creo que es 27 de octubre. Uh -huh. oh, ok. Pero este alumno bueno. lo van a reprobar, mire, Wilmer, Wilmer Antonio Granado. Este no ha hecho nada, miren. Nada, ni una. No, el, ¿Cuánto tiene? 5%. No, no, no sale a tiempo. Probado. No, el pobrecito está de no, no, no. Bueno, toca repetir el módulo. No. Sí. Bueno, este, bien, los dejo, ya es hora. Este, creo que sí, muchos ya gracias, van a ir a, a dormir. Y a, a descansar para, y a comer para estar listos mañana e ir nuevamente al trabajo. Así que pasen una linda noche. Bendiciones a todos. Cuídense. Gracias. Gracias. Feliz noche. Gracias. Igualmente. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.